Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 53rd episode of Hunter x Hunter. And last episode we had what was probably the highest level fight we've had in the show so far. Which was a couple of Zoldic assassins and our leader of the Phantom Troop. So yeah, there was a lot of power in that room. Like, very few people I think could have uh, matched any opponent in that room. Like, that... I, I mean, I, we haven't seen a huge amount of the world just just yet. But I would be surprised if there was double digit amount of people that were like at that level of the people in that room so yeah that was pretty cool to see and I, don't, and I don't think it ended just yet last episode so hopefully we can see more of it this episode that is where i'm at pope wise so let's just jump into it and see uh what we get three two one play yeah this is what we got and then we just Go full Dragon Ball Z, float in the air, energy balls, <laughs> ready to blast some of our opponents. Yeah, take this. Blow the whole building up. As long as we get you. That's what matters. And we're assassins, not cleanup crew. We'll leave somebody else to clean up afterwards. So I guess it's possible that I finish off the fight, but I want to believe that there's, uh, it's not over yet. Yodio, you read your books. So, Yodio, -Yo, I'm sure one day you'll have a cool fight that you do, but it's not today. What would it be like to be sucked by your vacuum cleaner? And we're fake and psych. Okay. Not sure what to make of that. But okay. Who's the fake? It's raining, so you know it's sad. We have glowing umbrellas, which are pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think... Oh, what? What just happened? I mean, I probably this is one thing, but... Why, why did people fall over? What did you do exactly? Some kind of electric magnetic pulse, but like more magical nanny. A nanish, or whatever you would say. But okay, I mean, we did something. Well, clearly it's an earthquake. I don't know what else you think it could possibly be. It certainly isn't a few very powerful people fighting above us. No, no, no. That'd just be silly. Okay. <laughs> so we get, we're going up, okay. Oh yeah, this, this note, okay, I remember this one, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure everything will be completely daijobu. Emphasis on the die part. We're really not very Genki at all. Oh, did we really do did we really take him down there? I I haven't seen the body yet, so I I'm skeptical. But 
But okay, I guess the auction is going to go on, so what matters is the whole thing, right? On Twitch, I assume. Yeah, those people are still knocked out or dead, probably dead. So. Uh, is that a normal bug or is that like a Nen bug? Oh, it's sign on the eye. Oh, no, please take it off. For my sake, at least. Are you... Oh, okay. I guess that explains that. Is that the brother? Do I recognize those needles? Is that the brother? I think it is. It's been a while since we've seen him, but I think that's him. I recognize those dead eyes anywhere. That's the brother. Okay, so I get that the that fly was supposed to be a subtle indication that he's not conscious, but that just... No, I have a weakness for eye stuff. That really gets me. So we broke the building at least, and I don't think the uh, the leader's dead. Yeah, depending on who you ask, though. I guess you could just do that. Huh? You think that I better security, but okay. So who are you, small girl? Do we know you? Because you don't seem familiar. But I really can't rely on my own memory, so... Okay, I guess that's one way to deal with your contract. Just murder the people that hired you. I guess that's reasonable. I guess it's all fine. No, I, I always knew it was just for a paycheck. Actually, is a little bit injured, though. Okay. So they weren't the ones that had Illumi do that. Okay, that makes more sense, I guess. I just assume because he was old, Dick, you know, but... Well, I assume he would. So are we trying to imply he wasn't fighting as hard as he could? If so, what's the reason for that? But it was still a good fight, I guess. Even if I would have liked it to be a little bit extended from that, but... No reason to, because the guy who hired them is dead, so... <laughs> Time for a nap, right? I'm sure you don't fight that hard too often. Yeah, that's probably also a thing that they were worried about. Having their powers stolen, but I don't want to continue the fight because of that. Early when I go to a hospital called L Hospital, I'd much rather go to W Hospital. Is it that obvious? Yeah, there are no pushovers. No, we're not safe. I mean, I guess we're safe to an extent, but... We're never truly safe when they're around. Finally, we can get this auction rolling. Yeah, that's that's always good, right? 
Some sharp fingernails. Oh, Hisoka! Oh, Hisoka. <laughs> well, I guess that guy's day got worse pretty quickly. Ooh, that looks nice. I'll give you a hundred zenny for it. That's too much for my blood, and of course they already had their claws into this, should have known. Autopilots. So basically they think they've won, but really they have not at all. These people are still just completely involved. Very odd position that we're in right now, honestly. Okay, so I guess we see where the fake in the title comes from. So now I see what their plan is. They just make them buy a bunch of fakes. And they leave with the good stuff. He really wasn't. Yeah, he knows how difficult he would be to kill. But also, I'm sure he wanted to do it himself. I'm sure that's also a, a point they're making here. They didn't, though. They didn't. You have no idea how badly you lost here. If only you knew everything that's been happening. I want to push your luck here, dude. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Well, you were just asking for that, dude. You really were. But man, it could have been as furious. And it's not good. Yeah, you're, you're one of the smarter people in this show, could it be, so. Huh. Well, I mean, it's obviously not him. But I guess it's another you know, fake, like... Uh, okay, we definitely wasn't expecting the others here. But they gotta be more fakes, though, because nobody even attacked most of these people. I doubt they have any of those. But yeah, I just... It's fake. It's gotta all be fake. They were in too advantageous of a position to go back to fall down that far. And of course, could it be a walks in right as the the eyes are for sale? It's in bad timing on your part. Not really extinct, they're still him. But yeah, just not a good day for Kurapika, but a lot of his upsetness is based on a lie. <laughs> Nani? Of course, we must win them. Okay, well then. The Kabaksha needs a lot more fun when you when you're told that. Having a bid for the eyes of her own his own clan member. I was doing so well but I had a bit of a slip up there. What now I will get. Oh damn, somebody wants them. Okay. Okay. I think he may hold a grudge.
Yeah. He didn't really want them, he just wanted to hike at the price for him. That's a lot of money. That's what you can do if you know somebody like is going is going to do whatever it takes to get something. You could safely do a few bids just to screw them over. It doesn't literally doesn't cost you anything as long as they get it in the end. That's why you never want to let the people know just how badly you want something at an auction. She, you know, she is also a person, so. You know, we treat her like a tool a lot in this show. You know, you keep saying things like this. I have a feeling things are gonna go south for you in that respect. Maybe she'll die, maybe she'll leave you, but just I feel like you're raising some flags in regards to that. Yeah, it's also an item that he has right there on his head. Yeah, it's just, uh, really not something Kurapika probably wants to ever have to do. He's actually wearing contact lenses to hide his eyes getting red, seems like. Make sure you don't get robbed on the way. Yes. You want another, uh, another punch? I don't think Kuda Pig's in the mood for this. <laughs> There's a realize. Yeah, you're dealing with a Nen user here, so I want to think this through. <laughs> also, made it a change of pants at this rate. <laughs> well, not so tough now, huh? And. More than you can handle. And he is not in the mood. Oh, back to going to kill him And alcohol. <laughs> okay, I guess they, they're hanging out. Well, what more will they, what else would they do? Gotta cope somehow. You're close enough to 20, it's fine. That's a good point, he's actually like 16. What country do you live in? Because I'm pretty sure every country I know of has 18 as the lowest, uh, lowest age for that. My country is 21. In Japan, I'm pretty sure it's 20. I mean, they're not in Japan in this show, but, you know, the show still airs in Japan, so it's all relevant. <laughs> yes, please explain the details. Yeah, we need to go meet up at some point. Yeah, what exactly do you think you'll learn? Well, that was because he specialized. But yeah, I guess they don't know about the specialization that he did. 
like the limitation, the rule, whatever it called it. Like they don't know about that. I don't think uh, there's something very wrong with this picture. Yay, severed human eyes. Thank you, Daddy. This is exactly what I wanted as a present. It like cost me like three billion or whatever. Yeah, again, Kodapika just... <laughs> I, I, if you could look inside of his mind, man, it would probably just be a, a storm of emotions. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what they wanted to do. Just look at those eyes, man. Just... They look so defeated. Not really. It's really been a rough day. Although a lot of it is based on lies, like I said. There's no way that many phantom troops are just dead all of a sudden. That's... Unless they missed something, which is not impossible, but fake was in the title, so. Yeah, Hisoka's right there. I can't read that. And yeah, they're all fine here. Perfectly alive. <laughs> That's a little bit rude. But they're not, though. I mean, could it be because supposed to be in contact with uh, Hisoka, so that should be how he finds out about them still being alive. I would imagine. I can't figure out how else he'd figure it out. I just gotta find out eventually. Yeah, emptiness. That's a good word for it. But I guess that why Hisoka was holding the phone was because he was expecting Kodapika to call, but he didn't. Is that what it was? I don't know. Like I said, I couldn't actually read the name because it wasn't in a real language. But And the troop definitely seemed victorious with their attitude and everything. <sighs> <sighs> but because seems so much happier in that bit there. I kind of miss Lushi. Oh, I don't miss Wing because it sure bothered me so much. Hmm. <sighs> Yeah, for, for pretty much all of the, uh, all of this whole big arc, the fans that you really see like they've had the edge, the advantage the whole time, like, doesn't seem like they've ever really lost it. Aside from maybe that one little bit where they were able to successfully hide the goods from them, but they got those, but they got the guy, so. And they've lost, you know, maybe a member or two, but... <laughs> you can't copy I like that they can't conjure living copies I like how they have the funny little silly joke there but he did want to make sure he didn't misinterpret that as a legit part of what he can do with his powers but I actually wasn't paying that much attention as I watched that so I want to rewatch that a little bit at the end real quick I didn't think it would be that important and relevant so let's look at that again well I will you'll just see my face yeah Cortopi was his name Beware of gallery fake, okay. I knew that the technique had fake in the title, I didn't know what the first part of it was, but it was called gallery fake. He's a conjurer, I mean, of course, he is. Uses his right hand to copy what his left touches. Okay, so like a left would touch something and the right would make the copy, so kind of like it funnels through him, I guess is how it is, okay. 
yeah, going, that might be a fake, but no, he can't conjure living copies, which makes sense. That's a limitation that definitely makes sense. Now, I also want to go back to the part where he used that on the auction stuff. I think it was... I'm actually not even sure where it was. Okay, it was right here. Yeah, you have uh, Shizuku walk up to him, says, Korto Pi, this one is next, which is the vase thingy. She says, here, make a copy. And yeah, the left hand is touching it, then you have the glow. And then it says the name, Gallery Fake, Divine Left Hand, Demonic Right Hand. Huh, pretty cool way to refer to it as. And yeah, you can actually see a little bit of a blurry version of it on the other hand there. So, they're clearly making copies of the stuff, fake copies, and I would assume hoarding the real stuff for themselves because they have full control at this point. Because they convinced the, their enemy that they're all dead. You know, leaders dead, everything. This, this, supposedly the Zoldic family succeeded in their mission, which they didn't. They just, they just had the Zoldic brother attack the ten special Dawn people. And that kind of just avoided the contracts so of the Zoldic assassins that were assass hired to assassinate them went home. So that was the big play. That was pretty much what completely shifted the thing onto its head. And they've essentially won at this point, like... Not sure where we where we go from here as the protagonists, so because even they think they're dead, so really not in a good position right now, Kripika's side of things. And you gotta love the one guy antagonizing Kripika deliberately until he just punches him in the face, which uh, I think he regretted that. But just you can see the anger on his face as he does it too. It was great. But Kripika was pretty adamant about. Him about not believing it until he saw the body. And then he saw the body. But right away, I was pretty sure that, that was a fake. However, however, didn't they say that he couldn't copy living things? So, but uh, the, the Phantom Troop are living people, so I was able to copy them. I'm a little bit confused about that. They just took it for as an obvious thing that, you know, he used that cop that the gallery fake ability on them. But, but they're also all bloody and stuff, so I'm a little bit confused about what happened there. Maybe they'll explain it later on, but right now I'm a bit confused on how that works. But I do know that they're fake, obviously, we saw the real ones later, so the details don't matter right now. But they were convincing enough for Kurapika to have basically lost focus, lost his path, because this is what he's been fighting for for a long time. Basically, he's been walking towards this cake, and suddenly he will, he finally gets to the cake, and the cake was already eaten. That's a good analogy for what happened there with Kurapika. So now that he's kind of lost his goal in life, like, he's just, what's, what's he going to do? He's lost. He's depressed. He's empty. He auctioned billions of uh, dollars, whatever the currency is, on the eyes of, his fa of one of his fallen brethren, like... It's really a really bad day for Kurapika. Then he delivers it personally to a little girl that then it's like, yay, a fun gift to have. And just, they just all so messed up. So. Yeah. It's, the only way Kurapika can find out the truth has to be through Hisoka, right? I can't think of any other way. But yeah, he, I love that part where he walks towards the one guy that just threatens him with a gun. And he just like, I don't have time for this. I am not in the mood. If you want to fight, I will slaughter you. I don't care who's in front of me. Just give me an excuse and I'll end you. So, that was good. We had a little bit of going to Killua at the end there. Not a lot, just enough to remind us that they're, they exist, you know. Which is good. And apparently they want to talk to Kurapika about the Nen thing, because... He, obviously, Kurapika is aware of the whole limitation to an ability to specialize it to make to maximize its power, like min-maxing, basically. They know there's something like that. They don't know the specifics, I, I guess, but they know Kurapika knows something about Nen that they do not, so they need to go find it out. So that should be an interesting conversation. So let's see. Okay, so yeah, we actually did get him calling Kurapika. Well, no, uh, we have Kurapika on the phone. But that was a call towards Gon, right? Not Hisoka? Because it's a little bit confusing because it shows Kurapika with a phone. 
but then it shows I mean we hear we hear Goen's voice in response to that and then we see Hisoka on the phone so they deliberately make this a little bit confusing so is it trying to I I'm a little bit confused like is it just I just I figured it was just Hisoka expecting could he pick up the call but he didn't or did he call and then hang up before he answered? Or did he call and then hang up and now leave a message? Like, what exactly happened? I'm a little bit confused. Because like, he just says, oh, a shame, but I can't even read the text. Like, I can assume that's supposed to be Kuripika's profile thingy on the phone. But beyond that... But I don't know. Again, it doesn't matter too much, just... Yusoka was hoping to chat with Kuripika, but it didn't it did not end up happening. That's the that's the gist of it, so I guess that's enough. Cause I sometimes harp on these little details that don't matter that much, but just how it goes, I guess, with me. But yeah, definitely plenty of fakes in this episode. So But how exactly do the fakes work? Like do they eventually disappear? Like, I imagine they would. But, I don't know. I want more details. I'm surprised they didn't mention that at the end there. I assume they're, like, weaker than the original. They gotta be some sort of inferiority to the, the original. The fakes. But they didn't... Okay, actually, I think I may have not paid much attention to this scene here. When he actually says himself that he can't make living copies, I actually somehow did not... That just did not register with me for some reason. But I can provide static copies. So, static copies. I guess that's what the corpses were, but still. So, static copies, but I guess what, he, what he's saying here is that he can make something like people, but they won't have a soul. They won't move at all, so he can make them, but they're like life, like life like dolls that you can like make bleed and stuff, like... Because the the copies are obviously different than the original in the sense that they were injured, so I guess what he did was make the copies and then he would just like punch them and stab them and stuff. That would be a really weird thing to watch. I almost wish we could have seen that animated if that's what happened there. But But yeah, so I guess this is what it comes down to. He can copy living thing, but it won't be alive. It'll be basically the same as living thing, but not alive. So I guess that's all it is. Which is about what I expected. Yeah, I somehow just did not catch that part for the first time. Anyway, this has gone on long enough. It was a good episode, even though clearly things are not going well for our heroes here. But who knows, that maybe they'll change in the future. I don't know what, what will happen, but that's why I'm watching to, to find out. So we'll see. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.